Welcome back to Facebook. Um, I don't know if anyone has experienced this little outage. I was actually planning to come live and I will be honest when I see that it's not working. Um, my immediate thought was like, okay, I'm just not gonna do this today. But I have accountability partners and the coach and actually it's really fit into the topic I wanted to talk about today, uh, how we break promises to ourselves, why it's actually an issue and what to do about it. So today I did not go to yoga. I had a client who booked an appointment, so it's a very logical, everyone would agree it's a sensible thing to do, right? Like choosing a client over yoga, I building this business, I Obviously, we all want to make money. So everyone would agree that this was a very reasonable decision. However, we are oftentimes using all these experiences, the business in life, the new pandemic, I find this business. I hear so many times clients are saying they want to do X, Y, Z. Self-care especially is coming to the back burner. Um, and why is it a problem? Because when, just bring my example, not going to yoga. I know I need to go to yoga, not only because of my spiritual and just because I know it's helpful. My back actually physically painfully remind me if I'm skipping my practice. Every time when I fall off, I have back pain and then I know it's like, I'm not taking care of myself, but I chose to have the appointment with a client because I have a scarcity mindset. I was worried that if I block my time to go to yoga, I lose this opportunity to get clients. And the truth is, if I really investigate that, it's not the reality. Just a month ago, I did not have any opening on my calendar for clients because I was working at the school. And this is a recurring client. She has been my client for a couple of months now, and she always finds an appointment out of the other 20 hours I have been available. So when we are choosing actions based on fear, based on scarcity, we are actually sending out this energy to the universe and sometimes it's backfired. I actually canceled something last week to accommodate the client and guess what? She canceled two days before the appointment. So when we are functioning from the scarcity, we are not sending out to the universe the energy we want to, that higher vibration we want to live by. Uh, the other issue, when we are breaking our own promises, we are sending a subconsciously message to ourselves that we cannot trust ourselves, that we are not reliable, and also we are not congruent with what we are saying we are. Like if I say I'm a person who value yoga, but then I put it on the back burner, it means I'm trying to center this image to myself, not necessarily to the universe, but I'm saying I'm this person who values yoga, but when I decide that I'm not going to yoga because I have other priorities, I'm actually not in alignment with who I'm saying I am. So if you say you value health or healthy living, but you are drinking a bunch, you are eating unhealthy food, you are not congruent with the image you are telling about yourself. So, and it's very, very important because not only you are sending yourself a message that you are not a reliable person, but you are also living in misalignment that eventually causes this confusion of who you are. So, when you experience that you are not living up to your actions, you are not living up to what you are saying, you are being, you are doing, there is two things I recommend to do. First of all, before you even take any sort of actions, investigate, are you saying that you want to do like, oh, 
I love yoga. Are you saying because this is a new thing, like we know it's so beneficial and we would love to be that person, but it's really not in alignment with who you are and whether it's reasonable for you to try to be that person. Sometimes we try to do or be something because we think that's how we have to be. So be honest with yourself and you really love fried food don't say i'm a healthy person and want to eat and sell it and then you keep eating not healthy food that is the first step just to be aware of what you are telling yourself and how you are acting are these in alignment and what's the reason behind second if you do decide that that's what you want to do and live up to and be in new habits make sure that you take steps like in my case with the yoga i know years ago when i was training for the half marathon i did not have more time but i was determined to run that half marathon until two hours and i knew i had to train so i blocked my time rain or shine no matter what happened i went for my run on specific days it was on my calendar it was blocked off and unless a true emergency raised i was going to my run so in going back to yoga, I have to put it on my calendar and block it. And you know, clients will find time that's open on my calendar. If I put it up to, I'm going to yoga, if there is nothing else to come up, we are all busy, something will come up. So make sure that what you say is your priority is actually priority and you block it up, you make sure that it is happening and it's not a, if I have time, it's going to happen. It means if you put it that way, that that's not your priority. It's a nice to have. It's a maybe yes, maybe no. And trust me, more often than that, those things are going to go to the back burner. And that's okay as long as you admit to yourself that this is a choice you make and not finding excuses and not saying, oh, because I'm so busy. We always have, you know, and if you're a mom, you can relate to this. How many times we tell the kids we don't want to do something because we are busy. Like they want to talk to you or they want to show you something, but you are working on a project, whatever. If they come with bleeding nose, even if you talk to the president, you would get up and take care of them, right? It's always a priority you choose. So change in your mind instead of saying you are busy, Tell yourself, I choose this or this is not my priority right now. And that will have a very different feel. And once you are feeling that you're not in alignment, you're not doing what you're going to said you are going to do, you can actually take a step back and say like, I'm choosing this. This is not my environment. This is not my circumstances. This is in my power. And I'm choosing to do one thing over the other. So... Let me know if you have any uh, situations when you are actually catching yourself. A friend of mine was telling me she admired that I'm reading so much and she just does not have time. And then I asked her, so when did you used to leave it, read? And she was like, before bedtime. It's like, what are you doing now? And she said, I'm watching Netflix. I did not have to say anymore. She immediately realized she is inspired to read more but she's choosing to watch Netflix in, in, instead. And once you have that awareness, you can decide if you want to make it differently.